It's Jackie here, and we're going to talk a little bit about some farming today. I'm getting interviewed by Dana, our wonderful IT person um, who upkeeps the web page and keeps you guys guessing for your weekly coupons. All right, good morning. So first we're going to start about the start talking about the chicken feeding process. So where do the chickens access their food? Well, 90% of their food is actual grazing time. And um, so at sunup, the chickens pretty much come out on their own. They're out on the field and pasture all day, chasing butterflies, digging up worms, grubs, bugs, uh, eating the tips off the grass. And then also I do some uh, scraps for them when I clean my vegetables for dinner. I always take that out for them or leftover bread and things like that. And then in the winter time, we do have to supply them a high protein diet uh, or they would not lay eggs. And that is a culmination of about nine different grains. In addition to those grains, I provide them whole flax seed, which is for their heart health to prevent heart attacks. And I also provide crushed oyster shell, which is to uh, strengthen their wing and leg bones. Often um, people don't realize that poultry have hollow bones. And so this has really helped to prevent injuries, which of course then prevents death. And with the combination of all these foods, um, the chickens pretty much lay an egg daily uh, when they're in the prime of their life. And even as they mature and age and the slowing process of laying comes to maybe every couple days, my chickens actually will continue to lay an egg every day compared to the average run of the mill free range egg layer. So the combination of the nine grains that they can have access to anytime they want, uh, the access to the pasture grazing, the natural bugs, the extra flaxseed, the crushed oyster shell, and then scraps as well has made a really delicious product and a very healthy end. So can you help us picture what it looks like inside the barn? What do the feeders look like? Well, traditional uh, broiler houses, which is what we use for our free range hens are they're long buildings and the the newer buildings now are like 600 feet long by maybe 60 feet wide and we have what are called pole buildings when we bought this farm we converted the traditional raising of the meat bird where you have a closed environment to now an open environment but what we did is we maintained some of the technology and some of that technology is called a feed line and basically it's a tubular line that runs the length of the building so this in this case approximately 400 feet long at one end there's a hopper and the feed is actually dumped into that hopper and then an auger that turns spiraling down through that tube is what moves the feed to the feed pans and then every foot is a hole in the tube and from that hole feed will drop through and it drops into a pan that's about 10 inches round um, and in this case they are plastic so they don't rust they once were metal back in the day but now everything is plastic so it lasts and each pan is actually sectioned off so that the feed doesn't pile up in one section and then spill over so it's a round sectioned like pies and then the feed falls in and fills each of those section allowing different birds to come into those separate pie pieces without bugging each other and how do the chickens get water well they actually get water several different ways they will drink um, after a rain they will drink out of uh, water that is freshly laid um, on the earth from natural rain sources. They also drink out of my cow's watering container and I've actually had to put a cement block inside that container because sadly one of my chickens got in there, it couldn't get out and it drowned. So what I did is I put a little block in there so if they happen to fall in, they can hop up on the block and get out. But their prominent water 
Um, supply is also a long line of regular plumbing like you would find in a house, like half inch plumbing. And it's made out of PVC pipe. But in this, there are actually these, they're called nipples, these little uh, screw in caps. It has a little stainless steel ball and then a little metal tip that sticks out of it. And the chicken comes up to it and just clicks on the tip. And as the tip rubs the ball, the ball moves around, allowing a little bit of water to enter to the nipple at a time to prevent flooding. And how do you clean this system? How do you clean the water system? Well, the water system is cleaned. You, actually, we have this thing called Cool Clean, and it is um, a non-chemical cleaner that the chickens can digest through their gut. So we would put a little bit of that into um, the medicator. It's a, a machine. The medicator is a machine, which is also where we would give them their apple cider vinegar that we give them in the winter to help keep their stamina and their immune system strong. And you would add it into that. And as they drink, the machine pumps that fluid into the water system and then it's spread through the line and what it does gets rid of any algae that might be growing inside the line where bacteria could form and keeps the nipples from getting clogged up. The worst thing you can have is a clogged nipple, not because water won't come out of it, but because water continually comes out of it. And that's pretty much the watering system.